even to this day. Whenever travelers ask me how to travel to Bottleland, I warn them that the desert is a very dangerous place. Despite the risks, there will always be enthusiastic newcomers who venture into the desert. Ha <laughs> ha! The treasures of Bottleland are as good as mine! I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't have played with magic like that. Now I can't find my way back home. The desert entices people with hope, but it devours that hope from the moment they step foot within its scorching domain. But that magic bottle can bring forth an endless and refreshing spring, revitalizing the hopes that had shriveled in the arid desert. My dear weary traveler, why do you wish to enter the desert? Are you so determined to find Bottleland? All right, I will help you then. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. Is that why she's able to dance any time and anywhere she wishes? Quick, get in the light. Everyone, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.8 special program. <laughs> I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, the voice of Ether, and as always, I'm joined by some very special guests today. Hello, everybody. I'm Poonam Basu, and I voice Spark Night Queen of the Knights of Favonia. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Risa May, the voice of Watatsumi Island's divine priestess. Sangonomiya Kokomi. Wow, so relaxing and elegant. <laughs> and I am Susie Young, the voice of the captain of the reconnaissance company and the spindrift knight, Eula. 
vengeance will be mine. Yes. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Mark <Yeah>. my words. <laughs> I will. Uh, I'm super <laughs> excited to have you all on the program today. And I believe this is the first time we've had Risa and Susie with us. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! yay! I, I get to be Mini Eula. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. I've always wanted to be on a special program. Oh my gosh, yay! <laughs> I'm so happy, yay! Well, I'm glad to have you both here this time. Uh, we have an interesting format for today's special program. We'll be taking on some acting roles as we explore a mysterious ancient desert nation known as Bottle Land. And in this process, we'll be revealing upcoming content for the new version. Please note that these special roles are not the characters we play in Genshin Impact, but just for the setting of our story today. Oh, that sounds so interesting. So what are everybody's roles? I'll be playing a treasure-seeking adventurer in the desert. Mm. I'm a little mage who left Bottle Land. So fitting. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what I'll be? A knight from Bottle Land. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be a guide from Bottle Land. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, wait a second. How come I'm the only one not from Bottle Land? Outlander, your journey ends here. No! <laughs> Uh, you're not invited. Oh. What? <laughs> I guess I'm just kidding, Zag. It's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> and this fairy tale game has a game master. Let's welcome. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Kimsey, and I'm the voice of Mage Alice. I'll be telling the fairy tale with you. Oh, wow. yeah. Now, let's begin exploring the first act of our story, the Little Mage's Magic. Oh, uh, we. So, are we, are we starting already? Yep. Let's see what the fairy tale will reveal first. And action. The exact location of Bottleland can't be found on any map. Its very existence can be difficult to prove. But I know of a mage who once used her magic powers to leave Bottleland. The little mage was practicing her magic as the grand mage had instructed. As usual, she started slacking off during her practice. She already knew the Grand Mage's magic tomes from cover to cover, and she stumbled on some strange incantations in the newer books. Hmm, teleportation magic? Oh, I want to visit every kingdom that I've read about in the storybook! The little mage was very brave and confident, so she was not afraid of venturing out on her own. In fact, she believed that the bad guys were the ones who should be afraid of her. After taking a few moments to compose herself, she began to recite the new magic spells she had just learned. The God of Fortune was evidently looking after her. Without even knowing her destination, the little bottle... Wow! It really worked! Amazing! <laughs> The little mage seemed like a child in a candy shop, with an endless amount of mora in her pocket. She was excited to try all the different incantations she found, as if they were different flavors of candy. Divination magic? When spring water drops down pure and clear, into the future one may peer. Oh, this is just what I need! The little mage simply believed that these were miracles that were foretold in the prophecy. All right, let's look at what the bottle foresees. Show me what will find in the bottle. Oh, it looks like the info on the upcoming event has disappeared. Wow! <laughs> In the first part of version 3.8, Klee and Eula will be returning with their own event wishes. Oh, I'm so happy that Klee's back, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's 84 years. Now I'm back with a vengeance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, well, besides us, who else can we expect for the next part? Well, looks like for the next part of version 3.8, I'll have returning event wishes for Sangonomiya Kokomi and the Wanderer. Yay! Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> this will be the perfect chance to hang out with some old friends. Ooh, okay, speaking of hangouts, Kaya will get his very own hangout event in version 3.8. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. I love Kaya. These hangout events are great for getting to know more about a character. Kaya definitely has always been quite the mysterious guy, so I'm mm -hmm. super curious as to what 
we'll get to learn about you. <laughs> oh, look, the bottle is still changing. <gasps> Welcome back to the version 3.8 special program. We'll be continuing our story about exploring the mysterious and ancient place known as Bottle Land. Mm -hmm. Our last clues came from the little mage, but I don't have any more story to share for now. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I have something here. It looks like the knight and the guide will be reunited in Bottle Land. Oh. <laughs> okay then. Shall we continue our performance? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Let's continue our story with Act Two, Legend of the Magic Bottle. Of course, there were travelers who found and entered Bottle Land. Though most travelers chose to remain there, there were also some who decided to return to their homelands. But their accounts of Bottle Land were all very different. If you ask me, it's been too long since I left that place. Ahem! Shoot the cart! Is it a long mirage? Oh, come back, daylight! We're in Bottle Land! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yep, and we've got lots of information to share with everybody, so... Yep. So, first of all, we have our main event for version 3.8, which won't be on an island like usual. Instead, it takes place inside a bottle located somewhere in the desert. There will be many items called Dryo Vouchers, which are scattered throughout the areas. Travelers will be able to collect them to obtain some rewards, yep. including <gasps> Kaya's new outfit. Yes. <laughs> I need to get that. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. Well, since it's the desert, I think it's safe to assume that we'll be seeing a variety of terrain, you think? Yep. Uh, I hope the vouchers won't be hidden in some extremely hard-to-reach places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be. I know, right? <laughs> uh, but there's no need to worry, because the travelers are going to have some tools to assist them in their search. So, 
For example, right? We can use these crystals to help us locate vouchers more oh. easily. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And in addition to collecting vouchers, Waterland also has many unique attractions. Ooh. Absolutely. So first up, we have the Playprint. Well, there are streaming projectors scattered throughout the Valeria Mirage. It's said that if you place an object in a projector, then you can construct a corresponding item based on its original shape and the power of your imagination. Ooh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But there is a slight problem. Well, for now, it can only display certain two-dimensional objects called a preprint. Okay. Travelers can open the streaming projector to enter the world of the preprints and make some changes. But if we try to move straight through, we might encounter some obstacles. Well, in that case, we'll need to leave the preprint world and move some external objects to change the environment inside, <laughs> which will then allow us to pass through. That sounds awesome. Sounds yeah. super fun. Success. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to give it a try. Yeah, right? Well, in addition to the preprints, we'll also have a fun and new way to get around. You might even be able to call it a game mode. It's called the Choo Choo Cart. <gasps> yeah, so with the Choo Choo Cart, travelers can go to Choo Choo Cart stations in various areas of the Valeria Mirage to ride the cart. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is so fun. I love this. It's like a little baby ah. amusement cart. Well, not really baby. It's going to <laughs> give me a headache. <laughs> I, I can't do the list for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, the preprints and Choo Choo Cart we just introduced were both open world game modes. But next, we have some event mini games. <laughs> First up is the Spino Blaster. Ooh. So, get ready for this, guys, because this one's got a long name. So, its technical name is the Crocomorph Vortex based Crocodilian Armored Heavy Naval Battleship Style Recreational Water Blasting Cannon. Oh, oh, wow! Whoa. That's an epic name. <laughs> I think my head hurts. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you got through that. Me too. <laughs> well, apparently, it said that the name is an accurate reflection of its appearance and its underlying principles. Oh. Apparently. That's what it says. Yeah. <laughs> and it uses stored ammunition to fire hydro bullets. Cool. That's right. And as a note, because I know some of you will be concerned about this, the hydro bullets that it fires are safe and they're used for leisure purposes only. Yay. Safety first. <laughs> yep. And once it's out of ammunition, it will take a certain amount of time to reload its supply. Oh, absolutely. But if you need to, we can also manually reload it at the right opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, use the cannon to hit as many of the target balls as you can within the time limit to earn points. Yeah, there are also different types of target balls to aim at. These include Ordinormy, Tiny Vantage, Ruhaha, Overdrive, and Dual Charge Target Balls. <laughs> wow. Ruhaha. <laughs> That's quite the list. <laughs> yeah, some, some fun names in there, huh? <laughs> so, a notable projectile is the Overdrive Ball. So, travelers can break it to enter an enhanced state, during which you will gain infinite ammo. Love and <laughs> also, yeah, right? So when your bullets hit the targets in this state, they will cause damage in a larger AOE. Travelers will definitely have a blast with this mechanic. So give it a shot. <laughs> Uh, Let's shoot for the so stars. Funny. Love it. Thank you. Love a good pun. <laughs> I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, we have Sojourns of the Barking Fox. Travelers will have to control the Barking Fox to reach the destination within the time limit. They'll also have to collect as many adventure coins as possible while moving the fox. So the coins are projections you can pass through? Oh, it looks so okay. great. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. So this mini game will contain sleet trust fruit, which can obstruct traveler's sight. Players will also encounter disruptor orbs, which emit disruption waves. But these disruption waves don't seem like they're dealing any real damage to us. Hmm. Yeah, thankfully not. <laughs> so these disruption waves, they won't be damaging the barking fox. Oh. They will just trigger a sensor that reduces the remaining time of the challenge as well as your score. So our little barking fox buddy will be safe. Oh, Yay! Yeah, <laughs> now, guess what our next mini game is? It's called Dance of Flashing Thought. Ooh. Ooh, wow. 
<laughs> nice. That totally sounds like a game for Eula. <laughs> <laughs> right? It sounds like a dancing event, but it's actually a combat mini game. It just happens to take place on a stage, and some of the game mechanics have been inspired by theater. I love the theater. Pretty fancy, right? Mm -hmm. So before starting, travelers will be able to adjust their party to fit the special features of the different stages. During the challenge, you can defeat opponents to accumulate honed will. And once you've gathered enough, you'll obtain honed focus effects. And that's what the light is. Go for it. Wow, they defeated all those monsters almost immediately. Yeah, right? Really cool, oh, right? It seems like the movement <laughs> speed can get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the buffs you can get. That's pretty epic. So <laughs> epic, I love this. So yeah. fun. I can't wait to play this. So strong. <laughs> And so finally, we have our last mini game, and the theme of this mini game is the rum roll. Finches are the cutest. What? Huh? Our last <laughs> mini game is called Bing Bang Finch Ball. Amazing. So I've got a finch fact. Oh. When some finches take flight, they'll press the tree branch down using their weight and slide down a short distance before using the rebound to accelerate. Aww. So this cute little detail is one of the inspirations for Finch Ball. I see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to be launching a certain number of Finch Balls in order. Place as many Finch Balls as you can in high scoring zones and reach the set scores to complete the challenges. Yep, and you'll need to know the differences between the various zones. So, if the finch ball stops inside the red zone, you will earn four points. If it stops within a yellow zone, you will earn two points. And if it lands within a blue zone, it will just be one point. Got it. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're going to want to press the launch button at the right time to set the direction before entering the charging sequence. Release the button to launch the finch ball in the corresponding direction. So, I know, it may sound simple, but you'll find that there's some finesse to getting it right. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in addition to ordinary finch balls, they also have some very special types. Mm. Oh. Sticky finch balls and pretty finch balls. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, the sticky finch ball is giving it a little hug. Oh, that's so cute. Stop it. It's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see everyone try these mini games out in version 3.8. Oh, and I still have more news! In addition to our main in-game event, we also have some info about upcoming events outside the game. Hoya Fest 2023 is just around the corner! Woo! <laughs> so excited! Starting in July, Hoyaverse will continuously bring you all sorts of exciting online and offline Hoya Fest events. Whether it's Hoya Fest exclusive merchandise, awesome offline events, and rewards both in and out of the game. We are excited to see our travelers participate in these events. Travelers who would like to learn more about these events should follow Genshin Impact's official social media channels and keep an eye out for more related info in the future. Oh, heck yeah. Super excited. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> also, Genshin Impact's third commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 3, will be released during version 3.8! I know some travelers have been highly anticipating this one. The album includes three discs by the Hoyo Mix team, which contain the original music of version 3.0 to version 3.8. This album will include music from storyline videos and animations as well as version-specific events. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited for this. Wait, so that means that it should include music from the Sub-Zero's Festival and the r and music, right? Yeah, yeah, I bet some travelers remember that event. The music was so good. Right? <laughs> yeah, have it on repeat. The album will also feature music from the Wind Bloom Festival, Vine Lace Fest, and even the music from our version 3.8 Valyria Mirage event. Let's check out a preview of the album. Okay, now I gotta put down all of these cards. 
don't give a crap about the event. Sorry. At the same time, I don't really feel sorry for some reason. <laughs> I'm not really someone to, like, go into the event. event. So, yeah. Bye.